Hello and welcome to Let's Play Super Robot Wars. This is uh, for the original Brick Game Boy, the uh, thing that was sturdy enough to survive a uh, an explosion back during the uh, first Gulf War. Very sturdy thing. Horrible graphics though. Puke green on lime green. And we get to uh, at least enjoy it in color because we're playing on a Game Boy Color emulator. So we have a uh, slight advantage here. <laughs> anyway, this is a uh, turn-based strategy and the uh, first entry in the Super Robot Wars series. I may, may, may be crazy enough to just kind of try uh, going through all of them. It's a huge endeavor if you ever take a look on the uh, Akras Wiki, but it's uh, something we'll try. Anyway, without further ado, let's get going. Single player, and start. The space monster Gilgilgum has invaded the Super Robot homeworld. One by one, they fall into his thrall. But some had the strength of mind and soul to fight! As long as they stand, there remains hope of restoring peace! Anyway, first things first, we can uh, start off with uh, either the Gundam team, the Mazinger team, or the Getter team. Uh, if we choose the Gundam team, we get to have the original Gundam from, uh, the original Gundam from the original Mobile Suit Gundam series, as well as the Gun Cannon from the same series. From Zeta Gundam, we have the titular Zeta Gundam and the Hyakushiki, also known as Type 100 if you care to translate it. From, uh, uh Gundam ZZ, we have Double Zeta Gundam. From the Shars Counterattack movie, we have New Gundam. And from the Gundam F91 movie, we have the titular Gundam F91. From, uh, whoa, from Mazinger, we have uh, Mazinger Z, the granddaddy of uh, piloted robots himself. Aphrodite A from the same series, and then we have uh, Diana A, Great Mazinger, and Venus A, all from uh, Great Mazinger. And lastly, we have the Getter Team which has uh, Getter Robo, which transforms into three different forms, as well as Texas Mac. That's actually a spelling mistake on this translation. It is not Texas Mach, like Mach 1, Mach 2, Mach 3, but rather it's Texas Mac, like uh, Hey Mac. And it is a very Texas robot. <laughs> I think Getter Q, short for Getter Queen, is also from there. But I, uh, I'm actually not positive. I haven't seen the original Getter Robo. And Getter Robo G is, of course, from the sequel. Hello, Genshi. Welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoy uh, playing a little, uh, a little Super Robot Wars. We're starting from the original. So, I actually like playing with the Mazinger team. Anyway, you can see we have, uh, I know, it doesn't pop them up. Either way, we select Great Mazinger as our hero. Oh, here's where it is. You know what, let me go over from the start. Let's just start with the Gundam team. There's our Gundam. He's a pretty weak guy. We actually, It actually doesn't help to fight with him. Here's your gun cannon from the same series. Zeta Gundam. All from uh, Zeta Gundam. You can see that uh, these robots have eyes. Because they are not piloted. They are sentient uh, uh, robots in and of themselves. There's your Double Zeta Gundam. New Gundam, that's the uh, Greek letter new. And Gundam F91, the uh, latest, uh, the last thing that was released here. <laughs> anyway, here's Mazinger, the granddaddy of piloted robots himself. Oops. Aphrodite A, the origin of uh, tit missiles. Oh, come on. This is a little, uh, little sensitive controls here. There's Diana A. It's kind of like Mazinger, just female. Great Mazinger. Piloted by the uh, world's biggest asshole. And Venus A, the assistant robot for the Great Mazinger. And we can hop over to the Getter team. Here's the original Getter robot in form Getter 1 with a, uh, Geta Tomahawk! 
Getter Robo G, also known as Getter Dragon. Again with his uh, Getter Tomahawks, but this time with two of them. Oops. There we go, Texas Mac, the most, uh, the most uh, Texas of all robots. <laughs> Although the Texas Colony is from Gundam, not from uh, Getter. And there is Getter Queen. And Genshi ask, ask, is asking, uh, what's with the 2-bit audio, and, uh, bruh, where's our mech porn? There is no mech porn here. Anyway, like I was saying, we'll be using, uh, Great Mazinger. It is piloted by, uh, the world's biggest asshole, uh, Tetsuya, Tetsuya Tsurugi. And, yeah, he's a dick to everybody. Which is actually the, uh, best strategy we can play here. So, we're just gonna dump everything into power. Yes, that's absolutely okay. Assemble a team. We will take everybody. Yes, this is a... Fly, super robots. To free more super robots from Gilgilgun's rule, take the enemy's tower. Save your comrades. So, here are our guys. We have... Venus A. Great Mazinger. Mazinger Z. Aphrodite A. And Diana A. And over here we have our selection of baddies. We have Zagok from Gundam. We have Zaku, who's also from Gundam. We have Zasa from uh, Gundam Double Z. Getter Queen. Another Zasa. And Garada K7 from, uh, from Mazinger Z, one of the uh, most famous enemies from it, in fact. And a Zoo, which I want to say is from Getter. Oh yeah, that's definitely from Getter. Anyway, uh, so we actually do want to get all the towers, because most of them have uh, secret goodies for us. There's a uh, Chobam armor. Uh, how is that calculated, though? So, I've got a, a little guide, but it's saying the Chobam armor is at a tower location 5,2. I think that may be a uh, slight tempo. Slight typo, rather. Genshi fly up, fly up last time. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. Now, there is a trick to, uh, to winning this, and in fact, it's just, uh, ignore everyone and, uh, just get your best unit to win. In fact, let a bunch of your enemies get killed. Get a bunch, let a bunch of your friends get killed. Just because. Although for now, they're useful for, uh, getting towers. So we'll stick around here and, uh, enjoy it. And she's having a blast yelling out attack names in the, uh, in the chat. I don't begrudge him at all. Anyway, Great Mazinger, you pop your butt on the tower and get yourself a magnetic coating. Yeah, I'm still not getting that, because this one should be at location 14,4. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four. Yeah. One, two, three, four. 
I mean, does it start counting from this location? I'm not sure. <laughs> Whatever. We'll have, uh... We'll have some more time to uh, get it figured out. It's not until we get to the 20s that we actually have things to worry about, so... Let's have everyone move up! You've got a range of six, 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 so you're all... you're all the same. Status. Also range six. So nothing special with any of these. Batman! Welcome! Haven't seen you in a while, buddy. How have you been? Join a little, uh, good old fashioned super robot wars. And since it's the weekend, you can watch. Cool. Okay. Uh. I don't remember. Do these actually give. No, they don't. So, the smart move actually is to wait here. You don't get anything for, uh, having a low turn count. Oops. And yeah, unfortunately, this game is so old that your allies can block your movement. I don't actually just wait right there. Booby missile. Yes, we'll get some booby missiles soon. Don't you worry. Now, I'm sure this music is going to get very annoying. I'm thinking of replacing it with some other music, but that's for, uh, that's for uh, some other stream. For the first one, you guys have to suffer through the whole thing. Anyway, uh, here is our selection of attacks. Now, Thunderbreak is the strongest. Uh, Will is what describes damage. So... Will 5, Will 6, Will 5, but this one has range 3. So, uh, we'll use it, that way we can, uh, stay at... No, excuse me. We're going to start with, uh, Mazinger. Here's his, uh, Rocket Punch, very famous attack. And now we get Great Mazinger to do the upgraded Atomic Punch. Shot it out of his face. And he blew up the enemy. Very important. So here's the trick. We give all of our experience to Great Mazinger, and nothing to anyone else. <laughs> but yeah, compare it, say, to, uh... See, this one is Aphrodite A. Her attacks, punch, range of 1, will 2. Missile at least has range 4, will 5, so it's semi-decent, but nowhere near as good as Great Mosker. Likewise, with Venus... Come on. Stop double tapping. There we are. Uh, finger Missile... Will, uh... It has only a will of 2. Photon Beam... Okay, that's decent, actually. Will 5. Photon... Whoa! Photon Missile has Will 7. Now that is surprising! <laughs> Matt Man says the real problem with Super Robot Wars 1 is that it didn't have Boss Boro. The HD remake fixed that. Awesome! <laughs> and she complains about 2 XP. Yes! This game is not generous with the with the experience. That's why I was saying the best strategy is to uh, let one unit hoard all of the experience. Mm -hmm. A little machine gun. 
Will you counterattack? Yes, you will! Look at that! That was Thunderbreak! And there's his, uh, Heat Hawk. And Mosner counters with, a uh, Photon Beam! Kyoshiraku Beam! Yeah, 8 damage. This is a uh, very high power game. <laughs> Since when does the pilot yell, Wah! Alright, let's go ahead and use that photon missile. Let's see how that works out for us. And she does shoot those out of her uh, boop cavities. And he missed. Wonderful. Just what we needed. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Oh. Can't reach that. I see. Aphrodite A. Opai Misaid. At least this one hits. Your Shin Getter does 245,000 damage in Super Robot Wars DD. Yes. That is a uh, staple of this series. The, uh... A, th every... S pretty much every release, you do more damage in the next one. Oh, and actually, one more thing you can see... He healed. His HP is back at 40. The reason is that he's standing on the tower. And that's... and whereas Mazinger Z did not heal his 5 HP of damage, because towers are just that overpowered. Anyway, we want to get the kill. Even though he probably would have attacked a great Mazinger, we just want to be safe, not let him attack everything. Except for Super Robot Wars V, which heavily shattered Z3's ab absurd damage numbers. Okay, cool. Anyway, Great Mazinger leveled up. And we want to make sure we have more and more of that. So anyway, part of the uh, strategy is to just keep attacking uh, people far away with ranged attacks, because they can't counterattack. Just like there. Towers OP. Yes, towers are the best in this game. And literally, the strategy is you plop your strongest unit on a tower and uh, let them have at it. Mazinger Z. No, he got some experience. We don't want that. But really, it's alright. We'll survive. Launched Thunderbreak. Icy Laser Beam. Yeah, that's a fun one. Who knew that, uh, that lasers could be icy? Well, actually, random physics fact. Uh, lasers do have negative temperature. But that's, uh, it's not because they actually have negative temperature. It's just a way of how, uh, uh, temperature is calculated in physics, specifically how entropy is calculated. So, uh, because lasers have a high energy and they're, they're all coherent, and decreasing the energy actually increases entropy, that makes them have, uh, uh, makes them have negative uh, temperature. So they are colder than absolute zero. Now, obviously, that's not true, because they have energy. But yeah, it's just a little random, uh, little random trivia. Anyway. A 
attack, rocket punch, go! There we are. Get Getter Queen weakened down a little more. Now you'll safely attack uh, Mazinger. Now, if I'm lucky, no, Thunderbreak is range one, so we've got to stick with the atomic punches. But yeah, who knew you could get a little uh, uh, physics uh, trivia while playing uh, Super Robot Wars. Oh, actually, let's take a peek at their attacks. Do they have anything ranged? Claw? They do. Shoot. They will probably attack. Oh well. Let's just send a missile over to uh, you from full power. Anyway, like I said, the strategy is we just want Great Mazinger to get as many kills as possible. And if any of these other units end up taking some damage, we uh, don't particularly mind. HP 12, don't want to touch that. HP 24, yeah, that's... Oh, Photon Missile. This, yeah. Hang on, he's got... That... Wait, did he just move? No, the sprites did. Okay, <laughs> I was worried for a second there. Yeah, HP 24, he should survive a... Uh, photon Missile, and hopefully this one will hit. Yes, there we go. 18 damage. Beautiful. 22, 13, 15. Oh. There we go. Attack Getter Queen. Oh no, I... Okay, good, she dodged. I actually regret doing that because... Uh, she could have then killed herself on a counterattack. He's at the power! Sanda Breku! And it misses. Again! Alright, so go ahead and attack. Or fail. Dodge serves you right. There we go. Mazinger got the kill. Unfortunately, reached level two as well. Anyway, we can counterattack. It's a battle of the lasers. <laughs> yep, I was afraid of that. Oh, they're ganging up on a uh, Mazinger. That's not cool. Well, at least he's, uh, he's dodging some of them. Go, uh, kill-steal this one, Great Mazinger. There we go! Mazinger got that kill, and that's actually... All we care about for now. Now, please successfully commit suicide. You've been dodging that same thunder break so many times already. It's improbable. Did you save Scum uh, to get Great Mazinger to spam the uh, stats plus spirit? Oh, shoot! Thank you, I completely forgot about that. I did not. I somehow completely managed to forget that that was a thing. And yes, I will be doing it. Anyway, what we need to do is 
do a save state, which I hope I just did. Actually, I can just check. Yep. And because Great Mazinger is our hero unit, so say we select regular Mazinger, we can go to Special, Enlist, Form, or Spirit. If we try Spirit, it says can't use that command. However, Great Mazinger can go to uh, Special, Spirit, Train. Hey, I was quite lucky here. Train Great Mazinger. Great Mazinger's dash went up by one. Cool. And I believe you get two of these per level. Cool, with no safe scumming required. Mazinger's guard went up by one. Yeah, and it was uh, very fitting that we got his dash. Dash, dash, dun dun da dun. Dash, dash, dun dun da dun. Sukudam Dash. Ore wa tirut. Nami do nagasanai. Da dun dun. But that's still the uh, regular Mazinger theme. Oh well. Uh, no, you can uh, step out of range. There we go. Now you take one step back as well, and you take one step back as well. Now everyone is out of the Zagok's range, and he has no uh, uh, no choice other than to step forward and attack. Or stay in place and attack, which also works. Nice and easy. That is the entire first wave done. And as you notice, our experience gain went down from two to just one. Because it scales with experience. Unfortunately, that means, uh... uh it means that you get, uh, uh... You get diminishing returns for trying to push all of your, uh all of the kills to a single unit, but it's still the best option. Even with diminished returns, one strong unit is much better than a bunch of weak units. Anyway... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so that's going to be the next target. I think probably, uh, offline I'm gonna want to, uh, take a, uh, quick check at these, see what's up. Alright, let's grab this one. This should be a rocket punch. Yes, it is! And this particular forest should have a, uh, Heart of Justice. But we won't be getting that here. else is further to the right, so we can keep going. Just to charge all the way to the right. Now, unfortunately, in maps like these, it's just, hey, hurry up and wait. Alright, there's our movement complete for now. Now, the Sasa probably has a uh, pretty big range attack, doesn't it? Yeah, range 4 missiles. But that's expected. Uh, still safe to be on the tower, though. How about, uh, Garada? Do you have any, uh, range? Yes, you have anti-air missiles. We should hop in here and grab our first hidden one, Heart of Justice. Yep, and one, two, three, four, five, up one, two. That has another secret. Another Heart of Justice. And Chobam Armor will be, uh... One, two, three, four. Four up, 
and one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And the plane up top. Got it. So, let's move. One, two, three, four. Do not want to go all the way there. We don't want to step into his range before we're ready. Anyway, those E's indicate that, uh... And we've already moved. Or the enemy's already moved when it's the enemy's turn. Did I get you, uh, fully healed? I did not. Well, then you get to, uh, fly over here and obtain the biosensor. And that is the last of the, uh, non-hidden items. And that's going to be the last hidden item up here. How about you? Oh yeah, you're at 5 HP. You're not going anywhere. It's one, two, three... Yeah. You can go over there. Now what you'll see is that uh, Mazing Great Mazinger is uh, level 3 and it says air. That means he's a flying unit. Regular Mazinger is land. That means when uh, there's a sea tile, Great Mazinger just flies right over. And regular Mazinger walks into the water and has his movement range slowed way down. So, uh, one of those is a decent choice. One of those is absolutely not. Okay, anyway, that's safe range. And yeah, you can see just how, uh, how water just absolutely destroys your movement range. Okay, you should be fully healed. Yes, you are. You're gonna hop over here and uh, start fighting. Alright, will you finally please hit with the Thunder Break? Hisatsu Pawa Sanda Breaku! There it goes! Well, that's a lot stronger than was needed. Yeah, everyone here is going to gank up on him, so... Yeah, whatever. Mazinger, you go heal. Oops. Aphrodite, you are at full health. Go weaken this dude. With your missiles. Opai Misaire. Does 13 damage, so she'll be able to uh, counterattack and he'll still survive. Um, you can just kind of show up here. Okay, yeah. Go down here and Photon Missile. But yeah, even if you do have range, uh, after moving, you can only attack an adjacent enemy. Yeah, I just noticed. I forgot to put Venus in the planes. I'm sorry, Matt Man. I thought I grabbed it. I forgot to get an item. I know, it was right there! Don't worry, I'll get it before ending the, uh, before ending the level. Venus uh, sure took a beating. Now, unfortunately, that one will also attack Venus, and she is dead. However, we actually don't care about that. That's uh, that's a good outcome. We want uh, we want less of our teammates, assuming we want to recruit. Venus, excuse me, Aphrodite, you can go get the Chobam armor that uh, Venus was supposed to get, and I just completely forgot about. Diana, what's your status? Yeah, you're not not anywhere near full health. Yeah, uh, Great Mazinger, 37 to 45, you'll be fine. You can die on a counterattack. You will not die on a counterattack. 
Okay. Hop over there. Venus is arguably the one you wanted most. She has the most movement and wings of the unimportant people. A fair point. A fair point. But I'll just have to recruit. Oh, cool glitch! <laughs> Great, Mazinger is uh, popping up through here. Weird. I've never seen that happen before. Anyway, we'll just atomic punch this guy, kill him. The other guy will uh, die on a counterattack. And, yeah, that's that. Mazinger probably isn't fully healed. Nope, still at 31. Anyway, we'll get everyone a little closer. One, two, three, four, there. That's a safe range. And we're done for now. Dodged. There we go. And the Zasa should commit suicide on Great Mazinger, and Great Mazinger can take the kill next, and uh, we'll be done with the level. Crap! Alright. Let's attack. Atomic Punch should be more than enough. Oh no, it actually shouldn't be. He regained some health. Oh no, we did it. Good. And here is the final tower. Thanks to our heroes, the enemy fell, but a new enemy shall surely soon arise. Next episode, Lakeside Battle. Be sure to watch. Anyway, while we're here, we have a bunch of uh, power-up items. Now, Rocket Punch can go on either Aphrodite or Diana. Gives them a uh, new attack. Yep, continue powering up. Magnet Coating. That's just a, a stat up. Agility went up. Hooray! Biosensor. On Great Mazinger. That gives us attack. Very useful. Chobam Armor gives us defense. Excuse me, HP up. That's what I get for trying to uh, say things too quickly. There's more HP up. And Heart of Justice. Effects unit info. Great Mazinger. Charisma 82. I believe that one uh, goes to Charisma. Yep, Charisma went up. Continue powering up. Heart of Justice. Great Mazinger. And now we can compare Great Mazinger. He has Charisma 90. Very useful. Charisma is used for uh, recruiting people. And uh, loyalty is another stat that I didn't mention. Loyalty is your susceptibility to being recruited. So you can actually lose your teammates to the enemy if they try to recruit you, but you can recruit enemies to your side. Really useful to have. And aside from that, so attack is attack, defense is defense. High attack deals more damage, high defense takes less damage. Uh, HP is HP, we all know it. Uh, speed, I'm actually not positive in this game. Uh, I'm going to assume it's related to the uh, probability of dodging, but not positive. Anyway, that is it for, uh, for this episode. Let's save. Successfully saved. And just to be safe, I'm going to make a uh, save state. There we are. <laughs> anyway, let's make sure. Yep. Okay, save states work, regular saves also work. And there we go, Matt Man, I forget what speed does, but it's either dodging, accuracy, or both. That's usually what it is. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, wrap this up for now.